Welcome to Camp at Home, a production of Alliance Redwoods in beautiful Sonoma County, California. I'm Emma, a naturalist with the Outdoor Education Program here, coming to you with the challenge activity to dig through trash. What do I mean by trash? No, not your neighbor's garbage can, but compost. Composting is a way we do what nature does by putting scraps of produce we use in our kitchen into a bin full of soil, worms, and other arthropods, fungi, and bacteria who will decompose the dead plant material and break it down into organic soil. This soil will be used later to help plants grow by improving garden soil, retaining moisture, and providing the broken down nutrients back to the plants. We learned to do this by observing nature. I'm going to show you places you can look around your yard for decomposers too. This is a stump by my house. I'm going to remove some of the duff, which is what we call the needles that fall off the redwood trees, to see what the stump in my yard is doing. Observe with me and make mental notes of what you see. So you may have seen some of the decomposers I already mentioned. Another really beautiful decomposer is moss. Moss helps decomposition by retaining moisture on whatever it is growing on and produces substances that break down the wood or even rock that it grows on. What do you notice is happening to the wood of the fence in my backyard? What does the wood remind you of? Now I'm going to take a moment to dig under the duff. Observe what it looks like as I get deeper into the ground and how it changes. Now I have a better idea of why the redwood sorrel and ferns grow so lush in my backyard. Natural composting and decomposition has provided them with a really good place to live. I wonder if decomposition is happening down there in the river too. What do you think? I think I'll roll over some logs to see what's happening underneath them. You can try this too. I'm putting a link in the description for this video for a chart that you can use to identify the decomposers that you find.
What are you noticing about the dead wood here? Why is that that color? What do you think happened to it? Well, here's a secret. This wood was actually burned a hundred years ago. Blackening is a way that wood is preserved. That's pretty weird, huh? And what a great clue. Do you see how the moss clings to the rock? What do you notice is also on the rock? Do you think the moss attracted those things? And what do you think this rock will actually look like in a hundred years? Hey, look over here. I think I found a decomposer friend. Somehow I think he knows that decomposition can take a long time because he really doesn't look like he's in a hurry. Well, that's it for now. Bye from all your friends at Alliance Redwoods. Go out and explore your backyard, and we'll see you again later.